majority of our, you know, youth, especially our children, we should start giving them a proper reorientation about how they are supposed to work. It's very tough to now. How they are supposed to work in a, you know, a good community, you know, of help. You know, they, they are quite too lavish in the way they do things nowadays. And I think it has to do with the influence of social media. Mm -hmm. So, and, uh, but we have to give them an alternative. We have to give them a hope and make them realize who they are as Nigerians. You know, they shouldn't forget our culture. They shouldn't forget our traditions that really tell us who we are. Nigeria is already in the map of the world. It's just only a question of time for us to really rise up in our prosperity that God has blessed us with to show the world that Nigeria is a great country. And I believe that mothers here, that is what we do. In uh, my culture, in the Yoruba culture, they said when you have a newborn baby, the, the head of the baby will not be bent to his side because the mother would help mold and shape the head of the baby. And I think this is the time for us to, to go seek back our young people back, to go look for them and, you know, try to also pour into them. And I believe we women and mothers too, we had a fault. In the, uh, you know, I would say in the quest for wealth and comfort, we neglected our children. We left them behind at home to the mercy of television and social media. So once they're at home, we think everything is fine, but they learn so much just with the phone they have. So we know technology has really gone so uh, to its level that even a newborn baby knows about what she's supposed or he or she is supposed to press in the in on a piece of telephone. So and uh, we shouldn't take it for granted because they are there quiet. Oh, they are at home, everything is fine. No. The telephone has taken them to pornography, taking them to a lot of things, drug, to even suicide. That is what it has taken them. So we have to really go and nurture our children back. So having said that, you all know what I'm saying. So we shouldn't just keep going on that. We'll go on to the Renewed Hope Initiative. And then I'll also talk about my role as the grand patron of um, the organization, which I know I used to be a patron when I was in the state. And when it goes to the grassroots, how you are going to make it trickle down and for your presence to be felt. That's why I said you don't come today because the day we will do the um, declaration should be big so that the state too, the state chapter will do likewise to the first ladies of states where and also the uh, who becomes the patron and then the local government who are the matrons. And so I want to see a very, very strong uh, National Council for Women's Society. And, uh, by the grace of God, I will work with you as much as I can. Because I, I know the worth of your organization. Uh, even my late mother-in-law was the one who was really, really uh, into the National Council for Women's Society and also introduced me uh, from just observing her to your worth and what you did for this nation and what you are still going to do. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you for years of, you know, being there, you know, come rain, come shine, your organization still thrived. And I believe the best is yet to come.
members of the executive 